Okay, so just a little bit about importing and exporting templates. In the last video, I showed you that you could actually get that template from GitHub. So I'll show you how you might want to do that. But the first part of this, for example, if you create a template, like you may have done from the last video, you can actually export that. You've got this export option here. You can export in different formats. I'm just going to use XML because that's the traditional way of exporting templates. You can use any option you like. Okay, so there it is. I can keep that and that has saved in my downloads folder. Savix export templates XML. I can actually view that source. I'm actually just viewing it in the browser there. So that's the XML, Zavix version 6, a date, a group. That's the title there, PCI DSS windows. And there's a bunch of items with many items. And you can see they look familiar. Event ID, Windows is starting up. There's the key, there's a the type. And because all my items had a JavaScript preprocessing option, that's the script there. It's all written in the XML. If I go further, and find trigger there's the information about the trigger that's the expression the name priority manual close yes so you can see that the xml is a script version of how you would configure your items etc inside a template anyway so you can save that file somewhere and that would be your backup of your template okay and that's what i've done on this github repository here that's the template there zabbix export templates xml that's the same thing i just downloaded but i put it in github so you could actually copy that there are many ways you can download the repository and just manually import that file. But if you don't want to use GitHub, you could just go to the raw view there, select all, copy into the clipboard, go onto your desktop, create a new file. Call it template.xml, for example, we can call it anything you like, with .xml. Open that in Notepad or a text editor of some sort. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code because that's what I normally use for editing text files. And just paste that in there, and there we go. Okay, so that's the code that I just downloaded from GitHub. Control S to save. Okay, and that file is saved. And now I could import that into Zabbix by using the import option up here. I'm just going to deselect that first and choose the file. And there we go. I've chosen that from my desktop. Now, I'm not going to import this because it's already imported and it's the exact same file that I just exported. So actually nothing would happen. So I'll just show that to you. Import. See, no changes. Nothing happened. But when you're importing templates, you can choose to update the existing groups, templates, value mappings, dashboards, items, etc. or not. You can also create new if they don't already exist in the template. So I could have edited that template by hand. You know, for example, I could manually create a new item by copying and pasting like that and writing something like that hypothetically 6609 or something but i'm not going to do that that's not a real event id that i want to log anyway but that's just hypothetical example and that would create a new item if i had that selected there's also delete missing sometimes i might want to delete an item and save that and then if I was importing, I would select to delete anything that was missing from the current copy of the template. Okay, so I'm not going to import that edit I just made, so I'm just going to cancel that. But anyway, you can try importing that yourself if you didn't already create that template manually like I did. Also, another good source of templates is Zabbix Share. So looking at Zabbix Share, there are many pre-built templates on this website just created by users throughout the years. And we can import one of those, for example, Cisco General, for example. And there are different versions for 5, 5.4, or 6. Okay, so you could download that. And I can see that it's not an XML file this time. It's actually a YAML file or YAML. It's formatted like that. So if I just copy all that, Control-C to copy, go to the desktop, create a new file. That's a YAML that time. And just edit that in VS Code and paste. Okay, so that's a YAML file. It's formatted slightly differently. I should be able to just import that into Zabbix. So import, choose file. It's my template YAML. And you can name your files anything you like. Because this template doesn't exist already in Zabbix, it will just be creating new items and everything else it finds. So import. Okay, so it's giving us a screen that we can preview with. And everything is going to be added as a summary of what it's found. So item prototypes, trigger prototypes, discovery rules. This is a much more sophisticated template than the one we created, but you can read about them. Anyway, import. Okay, import successful. And we can find that. We're searching for Cisco. And it would be that one there, Cisco General. 
has three discovery rules, but lots of prototypes for each of the discovery rules. Anyway, that's a little more advanced. We'll get onto prototypes. Okay, so that was a successful import. You won't always be successful at imports, especially if you're trying to import templates from older versions of Zabbix. But anyway, when you're importing templates, you are likely to experience some problems now and then. You're just going to have to search the internet or even maybe even the author of the template might be able to help you. Anyway, remember most templates use an open source kind of license, which usually means no warranty or guarantees. Anyway, excellent.